Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video, let's see how we can recreate the Netflix text logo effect. But before continuing, I want to thank all of you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much and it drives me to make more videos for you. Enough partying, time to work. Let's have a look at the Netflix logo text. There is this curve at the bottom and how can we easily apply the same effect? Well, there are many ways of doing this. I will start with the easiest method. Let's start by adding an ellipse which fits the bottom curve. Before moving, let's center the objects on the canvas. Time to add our own text. Change the color to red and position it. Wonderful! I will now add a couple of guidelines which will help us to make sure the text stays straight. The first method I will be showing is using the warp tool in Affinity Photo. I can move the outer bottom nodes and adjust the curves making use of the eclipse below so we get the effect we are looking for. That was pretty easy, right? I did a quick job and as you notice the letter I does not look completely straight. This was the reason why I put the guidelines. If you fine tune your warp, you should be able to get straight lines. This advantage of this method is that your text becomes a pixel layer. Also, the warp is not available in Affinity Designer. The second method is just manually adjusting the text vector. Usually, I would use Inkscape for complex vector deformations, but in this case, it's very doable in Affinity. So let's go for it. Before moving on, let me duplicate the Eclipse as the letters E and L also have a curve in them. So after duplicating the text, we need to convert it to curves so we can adjust them. I can manually now adjust per letter the curvature, but I'm a bit lazy. Here is how I am going to do it. I will first extend the bottom part of all the letters. Then merge them so I get one curve object. I am then going to duplicate the bottom ellipse and subtract this from our text curve by selecting the geometry and then subtract. Now all the bottom parts of the letters have the right curvature. Time to fix the letter E and L. I could possibly do some complicated geometry operations for this too, but it's not worth it. So these two I will just adjust the nodes manually so they follow the upper ellipse we draw earlier. One final thing, the letter E is in my opinion too close to the letter T. So let's move it a bit to the left. And there you have it, your own Netflix logo. I hope you liked this video and as always, thanks for watching and subscribing. <laughs> <laughs>